Howdy friends, Jason here. And today on the 73 Mustang Project, we're getting right to work on the rear end or on the junk under the trunk. After waiting for weeks for a local shop to assemble the rear axle housing with my new parts from Yukon Gear, I decided to just bring it home and buy a cheapy press from Harbor Freight and do it myself. First up was to make a quick modification to the legs of the press to allow for the axle shafts to clear at the bottom. So I cut a scrap piece of 4x4 wood and moved the lower support out of the way and secured it with a ratchet strap. Seems safe enough. Next up, I pressed the bearings onto the axle. Fairly straightforward here. Then just press the retaining ring on after the bearing and make sure it's all seated together. Since I bought the cut to length 31 spline axles from Yukon Gear and Axle, it was time to cut them to fit this old Mustang stock housing. I started by getting a reference measurement from the old axles and then test fitting them with the new center section and found the axles needed to be an eighth of an inch shorter. So I marked them up and made my cuts. I'm not sure exactly why, but cutting metal in slow motion is pretty cool. Maybe because sparks. Now that the axles are cut, it seems to me that the edges needed to be beveled a bit to make for an easier fit into the center gear. So I take the evil off of the edges with my grinder. and even go so far as to file the grooves at the end afterwards. It's probably not necessary, but it makes me happy to do it, and it looks right. It's time to press in the lug nuts. Got my extra long studs here to match the front to kind of give it that racy look. Um, quick <laughs> suggestion is to just mark the holes ahead of time when you're thinking clear. That, that way when you get everything up here, you can just go ahead and you just know if you see a red line on it, you just know you got it in the right hole. And then just uh, get going. So I'm just using a 7 8 inch impact heavy duty socket as my press jig. Just lining it up. Pressing my studs on. Seems very happy. And we'll just do that times five. Get this done. And there you have it. And they look pretty racy, I think. Those long studs are gonna kinda just be a neat little feel for this. Sticking outside of whatever rim. Still haven't figured that out yet. But let's get uh, the bearing seals out of the end of the axles, get the new seals in, start assembly on this axle. So I took a few extra minutes to clean out the axle ends and installed the new seals with a little dab of grease on them. Next up, lay a nice bead of your favorite sealer around the housing, making sure you don't get too much on that will ooze inside the gears. And now for the deets on the center section. I went with the Yukon gear and axle, Ford 9 inch for the 31 spline axles. The dropout is nodular iron, it's got a heavy duty true track posi unit, plus I saved enough money by going with Yukon gear that I splurged on this billet pinion yoke and it looks pretty rad. So I'll heave that sucker into place. Give it a little love with a mallet, torque it down, and then slide it back under the car. So there's the axle housing in for the final time, hopefully. Pinion looks great in there. I'm very happy to see that. We got uh, a little bit of grease now on the new seal. I have a little bit of grease here on the axle. 
And now for a little more awesome, I'm going to install these new Willwood Brakes backing plates to start the drum to disc conversion that you will see in the very next video. Just put the new backing plate on, add a little Loctite to the T bolts, and then we'll put our axle in, being careful not to hurt our new seal. We'll get that all the way in. go that gets a nice solid seat all the way in at this point simply take the bearing retainer bracket from the Willwood kit slide it into place and tighten it through the access hole in the axle flange and this right here is the start of the Willwood Superlight 4 rear disc brake install which will happen next weekend so until next time enjoy your drive check this out <laughs>